This is the presidential Oracle 4 Bay Raid enclosure. Reference 9548U3. It has a strong 150 watt built-in power supply, which is not so common, and comes with genuine hardware raid. However, I don't think it's realistic to expect any kind of warranty, even though the previous Orico enclosures I had, have been incredibly reliable. There are people claiming that Orico does send out replacements without too much faff. The instructions are somewhere between hopeless and unnecessary. It does tell you how to set up the raid though. The darn thing is a stunner. The unit has an amazing finish. It's actually much better than other expansive manufacturers such as OWC, Akichio or QNAP. It is entirely made of smooth aluminium. It looks good. It feels strong. It's compact. It's heavy. It looks like a professional grade device. Oroco actually markets it as an enterprise class material. Also the activity LEDs are blue only and smaller. Much less disruptive than older iterations. The back panel is solid and clean as hell with the integration of the fan which is flawless. Don't even bother with the lock. It's literally an Allen key, it's absolute garbage. The whole thing is so not well thought, you run the risk of locking in your drive inside the unit if you were to ever use the key. This is how it looks inside. To go with it, I went with the cheapest current 16TB drive available, the phenomenal Seagate Exhaust 16. Of course, if you shove 4 drives in there it will make noise. The integrated low speed fan is inaudible however. You don't need any tools. You just open the latch and throw the drive in it. Close the latch job done. The raid couldn't be easier to set up. Set the switches according to the desired mode. Press the set button and you're good to go. This is the default configuration with the 4 drive running independently. Now if I switch it as RAID 0, it will be recognized a single big volume of 64TB, which is nothing short of class, just format it and you're good to go. The performance is okay but nothing crazy, although I believe those drives run at 5400 RPM you will probably get better performance with faster drives. The noise it makes when you boot the drive is nothing short of alarming. Given the sensation of imminent doom it makes you feel every time you turn on the unit, if you were not religious before it might be a good idea to start considering. 